Yer, what's good, Clock Gang? I don't know who they've been watching, but it's your boy Zente, and it's the Rilla Sour. Roll that intro. <laughs> So first things first, today's video is Stephen A reacts to Russell Westbrook joining the Lakers and LeBron James. So if you don't know, Russell Westbrook was traded to the Lakers last night during the draft. As I said in the last video that I dropped, I'm a big basketball fan. Hopefully you guys are too. We're going to see what they're saying about this Russell Westbrook trade. Let's hop right into this video. The Washington Wizards agreeing to send that man, Russell Westbrook, to the Lakers. They gave up a lot, or the Lakers gave up a lot, I should say, to get him. The 22nd pick at last night's draft, plus Kyle Kuzma, plus Contavious Caldwell-Pope, plus Montrez Harrell. All of this according to our Adrian Wojnarowski, who's in with us all morning long. According to Caesars, the Lakers' odds to win the title didn't change. They're still 4-1 to one behind the other big super team, and that's Brooklyn. Next closest odds in the West, you see there Golden State at 10 to 1. LeBron, of course, has led a team to the finals in nine of the past 11 seasons and won four championships. Stephen A. Smith is on his way in studio to break this down along with this fella, Kendrick Perkins, who is here. And once again, there really is only one question. The Lakers are never a team that you think, well, can they get better? Can they make a deep playoff mm -hmm. run? It is as simple as this. Can LeBron... Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook coexist well enough to win a championship. Absolutely. Look, Greeny, you can't put three Hall of Famers on the team and say, oh, is it questions? Can they shoot or can they do this? They're going to get it done. And I go back to the Miami Heat days when LeBron James was playing alongside Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. Everybody was talking about, oh, do they complement each other well? Well, guess what? They found a way to get it done by going to the low post. Both of these guys, Russell Westbrook and uh, LeBron James, are great slashing off the ball. And then you add Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis healthy is still the best big in the game today. Russell Westbrook Westbrook has not had a chance in his entire career, although he's played with me, but playing <laughs> with a big like Anthony Davis. Yeah. And when you make this trade and Russell Westbrook now goes to the Lakers, they have pressure on them, Greeny. They have pressure like a man and woman on the, going on a blind date. Hmm. Okay? It's a good analogy, one of your uh, beloved <laughs> analogies, and with that, we are delighted to bring in the one, the only, Stephen A. Smith. Who was What's going on, y'all? Back from his It's such a pleasure to see you, as good always. Good to see you, my, my okay. brother. Let's dive right into it, because yeah. there's really only one question, as I said, with the mm -hmm. Lakers. It's not about can they, can they make a deep playoff run in L.A., can they win a championship or not? These three guys, yes or no? Well, they can win a championship. Um, I'm not going to pick them as my favorite. It's still going to be the Brooklyn Nets, a healthy Brooklyn Nets team. I think is incredibly formidable, and that would definitely Definitely get they would definitely receive my edge uh, but I also think it's I just don't know how it's gonna work because number one LeBron likes to be the point guard and then number two I don't understand how Russell Russell <laughs> I don't understand how Russell Westbrook and LeBron James gonna work together like I just really don't see it like I don't know let me know what y'all think because I guess it's a good trade, but like I said, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know. It's going to be interesting because it's something I'm going to elaborate more extensively uh, on first take about. I don't believe this season that Russell Westbrook will have ever faced more pressure than he's going to face this year. And I'm going to elaborate on that mm -hmm. far more extensively, but considering where he's been, what he's been through, and what life has been like without the services of Kevin Durant mm -hmm. as his teammate. Mm -hmm. Now to be in this position right here with LeBron James and Anthony Davis as your teammates, Russell Westbrook is going to be under immense pressure. Now, he don't give a damn. Kendrick Perkins will speak to that. He could get less. You understand what I'm saying? Don't think it's going to phase him. You understand? It's not going to phase him. He's going to go out there. He's going to go out there and do what he does. He's going to play the way he wants to play. But from the outside world, I'm saying the pressure is going to descend upon him. And you get you played with him in Oklahoma City. The one thing he doesn't have on his resume is a championship. How will that pressure affect a 32-year-old Russell Westbrook? Well, you know, the thing about Russ is that he don't give a damn, right? And that's a good thing in a way because, like I said, he's back in his hometown, so you know he's going to play with extra pride. And again, Greeny and Stephen A., 
He hasn't played with a big like Anthony Davis. Like a pick and roll with Russell Westbrook and Anthony Davis is dangerous for the NBA, especially if Anthony Davis does, to, decides to embrace playing the center position, being that role guy, that lob thread at the basket. Because I strongly believe that LeBron James, he's willing to take a back seat and be that third option type guy. I think we say that a lot about LeBron James. And I'm not, <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And the reason why I don't believe that is because it's not about scoring. LeBron James doesn't care if somebody scores more than him. That's not what I'm trying to imply. But he's one of those guys who truly, truly believes validly I might add that he's the best decision maker on the floor it's it you don't find a situation where LeBron James is on the court and he thinks somebody makes better decisions and is a better exposer of mismatches mm -hmm. than him and because he feels that way he'll say all the right things and I'm not saying he's lying he genuinely means it until he gets on the court and, and purviews the landscape and looks at what he's playing with and who he's playing against and he's like, yeah, this, I need to be the one to make this call. That's what I get from well, LeBron James. Well, let me, let, me, let me challenge you on this one, Stephen sure. A. Go back and look at when him and Rondo played together, mm -hmm. when they won it. We saw a lot of times LeBron would give the ball to Rondo and play off the ball a mm -hmm. lot. And he trusted Rondo because Rondo is one of the best floor generals to ever play mm -hmm. the game. Right. So when you look at Russell Westbrook, I think we don't give him enough credit at his for his decision making we talking about a guy who led the league in assists last year and he had a lot of g league players around him and now you add a lebron james anthony davis and well, they're going to find shooters along with a guy like tate norton tucker he's going to flourish well he's going to lead the league in the city when you're an astute basketball mind greeny like my man kendrick perkins mm -hmm. is, <laughs> you can ultimately become a little bit slick and you got to know what the hell you talking about to mm -hmm. pick it up to catch him because Kendrick Perkins knows what I'm about to say. Yes, LeBron deferred to Rondo, because with Rondo, you know you're going to get the ball back. <laughs> you see the difference? Because Rondo ain't trying to shoot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rondo is literally looking to pass. So somebody like that is very easy for LeBron to defer to in terms of his decision making because uh, uh, Rondo is brilliant. He's a basketball savant and what have you. But also, he's a basketball savant who's not looking to shoot. He's absolutely looking to defer first, second, and third option before he even thinks about shooting in most situations. That's not Russell Westbrook. And Russell Westbrook, here's the thing that I think needs to be said in a positive way about Russell Westbrook. He's not, un he's not selfish. The fact that people talk about him like, you know, like he's selfish. No, no, that's not him. He's dogged. He has a strong belief on himself. He ain't scared of a soul. You understand what I'm saying? This, this brother's a rough rider. Make no mistake about it. But he's also somebody that has a profound belief in himself. And if he's not making the shot, he wants to be a facilitator of those shots. And what I'm saying is that's the difference between him and Rondo. Russell Westbrook will jack up shots. He doesn't need to be jacking up. Rondo won't do that. Yeah, man. So basically, Russell Westbrook is traded to the Lakers. And it's going to be Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James. They gave up. I don't, I don't want to say they gave up a lot to give him because Montrezl Harrell, they didn't even really play him in the playoffs. Kuzma, like, we don't even really got to say nothing about that. And they lost KCP in a first-round pick. It's like, I don't want to say they gave up way too much because they really didn't. I just don't know how it's going to work together. That's literally my only concern, even though I ain't really concerned because as y'all know, I'm a Celtics fan, so I really don't give two craps about what happens to the Lakers. Just being honest, but I still want to see how it's going to work together. Personally, my opinion, I don't think it's going to work because LeBron is basically a point guard and so is Russell Westbrook. So when stuff starts to go bad, what's going to happen? I don't really know. So. Let me know your opinions about the Russell Westbrook trade. Do you think they're going to win a championship? Do you think it's going to work out? I don't know. Let me know what you think. But yo, if this your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below what other videos you want to see me react to. That's it, man. It's your boy Zente. Catch you in the next one. I done seen better days, all the times I done prayed The hard work soon gon' pay 
I done seen better days. I done seen better days. I done seen better. I done seen better days. All the times I done prayed, the hard work soon gon' pay. I done seen better days. I done seen better days. I done seen better days.